Number one is wrinkling. Number two is color fading. Number three is stain and contamination. Number four is incorrect sizing. Number five is tear and damages. Number six is printing and embroidery defect. Number seven is fading graphics and logo. Number eight Good day, my name is Dilayim Mbwa. You are welcome to Global Trade to Talk, a very important YouTube channel as far as trade is concerned. All we discuss on this channel is about trade. International trade, providing capacity to help those that want to do import-export business. Even though we're focusing in recent time mainly on export, but we also assist with import-related information. Today, we are looking at the export of manufactured goods. <laughs> and we are looking at T-shirts. T-shirts. In a certain t-shirt, here are some key specifications. When you are trying to reach out to a buyer, the fiber content, the fiber content of the item, the material you are doing, specify the pattern you are cutting, or polyester, or a blend, or specialty material that you are using. Measured in gram per square meter, the fiber weight indicate the thickness, suitability for different season, and suitability for different season and uses. Common range for T-shirt is 140 to 220 grammage. Neat style. Indicate, is it jersey neat? Interlock neat? Terry neat? Kick neat? What neat style is the shirt? These are information you need to make available to the buyer. Construction specification. Specify the time of seams used. Flat lock, overlock, and the thread quality. Flat lock seam are preferred for comfort and duration. Stitching density. Number of stitches per inch. Ensure garment strength and quality. Higher FPI stitches per inch. Signify better construction of the shirt. E.g. 18 to 20. Reinforcement. Specify reinforcement in key area like neckline, shoulder, arm hole for added durability. Quality control, dimension tolerance, allowable variance in garment measurement to ensure consistency and proper fit across sizes. Color fastness, test to ensure dye don't bleed or fade during washing. So you need to check that the product dye use does not bleed or fade during washing. Workmanship standard define acceptable level of defect like uneven stitches, fabric flaws, and misprint. What is the level? 1%, 2%? There are some additional considerations. Shrink table and shrinkage control. Pre-shrinking fabric or using a treatment minimize shrinkable and shrinkage after washing. Labeling and packing. Follow buyer's requirement as far as labeling and packing is concerned. Testing and certification. Consider certification like OCO text standard for safety and quality assurance. Basically, to make it easier, my recommendation for this kind of product, send sample to the buyer. Just send the sample of your product to the buyer. If you send the sample to the buyer, the buyer will see it and then make recommendations and necessary correction. As soon as those are done, you now have a, 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 a prototype you must follow for this particular buyer. The market size for T-shirts, neat T-shirts, is about $48 billion. There's a huge market in Europe and America and Asia. The demand in South America is very low, 719 million. Demand in Oceania is 1 billion. Demand in Africa for T-shirt is 1.2 billion. The demand in, uh, for T-shirt in Asia is 8.8 .8 billion. The demand for T-shirt in United States, North America generally, is 12.2 billion. And the demand for T-shirt is highest in Europe and is 24 billion. Where is the largest demand? The largest buyer of T-shirts in the world is United States. About 20% of T-shirt purchase in the world is United States. 20%. 20% of T-shirt purchase in the world is United States. The next is Germany, 10.1%. Next is Japan, 4.8%. Next is France, 4.1%. UK, 4.5%. So if you are thinking of exporting T-shirts, focus on the US, Germany, Italy, Japan, France, UK, and Spain as your major market. Now, how about the packaging? 
Use a high quality, durable packing material that protect the t-shirt from dust, that protect the t-shirt from moisture, that protect the t-shirt from damage during transit. Consider eco-friendly damage. You know the way echo, 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 echo. You know what I mean, right? Individual packing. Packaging each t-shirt individually is clear in clear poly bag to protect them from dirt and humidity is necessary. Include the size label and care instruction on each poly bag, folding and presentation. Fold the t-shirt neatly to prevent wrinkling and ensure a professional appearance. Maintain consistency in folding to facilitate efficient packing and unpacking. Efficient packing and bulk packing. Place folded t-shirts in sturdy carton and boxes for bulk shipment. Ensure that the carton is strong enough to withstand the weight of the t-shirt. You know, it's clothing and it's heavy. And provide structural integrity during transportation. Carton labeling. Clearly label the carton with essential information, including the content, the size, and the quality of the material. The content, the size, and the quality of the material. Ensure each carton contains necessary custom documentation, including a packing list and commercial invoice that is supposed to accompany the goods. Weather resistant packing. If t shirts are shipped to regions with varying weather, weather conditions, use weather resistant packing to protect against rain and extreme temperature. Now, because it's clothing materials, right? You won't need NAVDAC, obviously, but you will need a third party inspection. You will need a third party inspection. NXP, Proforma Invoice, NEPC, uh, CAC, all that will be required if you are shipping from Nigeria including your single good declaration and CCI. Of course, the buyer will need bill of lading invoice, packing list, and any information that is peculiar to that country. But there must be a third-party inspection to inspect the quality of what you are shipping. So you are also sure of the quality of your shipment. Now, before I stop on this, what are the common quality issues with T-shirt exports? Number one is wrinkling. Number two is color fading. Number three is stain and contamination. Number four is incorrect sizing. Number five is tear and damages. Number six is printing and embroidery defect. Number seven is fading graphics and logo. Number eight is poor fabrics. Number nine is inconsistent stitches. Number 10 is packaging damage. Let me take a few of them because of my time. I, I don't want this video to be too long. T-shirt may arrive at their destination with wrinkles. Fold properly. An individual packaging in clear poly bag costs can wrinkle. Proper folding and individual packaging in clear poly bag can reduce wrinkling. Use garment friendly packaging method. Color fading. Choose color fast dye. Provide proper UV protection when you are packing. Stain. Implement stick quality control measure before packing to ensure t shirts are free of stain. Use clean and hygienic fabric. Incorrect sizing. Clearly label t shirts with the size medium, small, medium, large, extra large. Tear and damage. Use durable packing material such as sturdy carton and add protective measures like bubble wrap, divider, conduct regular quality check, and address any defect before shipping. Printing and embroidery defect. Implement stringent quality control process during production phase or an identify, to identify and rectify defect. Inconsistent stitches. Ensure rigorous quality control during manufacturing process to maintain consistent stitches. Conduct inspection to identify and correct any stitching issue before packing. Poor fabric. Source high-quality fabric. That one is easy. Source high-quality fabric. Source high-quality fabric. Thank you very much for stopping by on our YouTube channel today, Global Trade Twitter. My name is Delaimi. I'm your export doctor, and I'm signing out. Share this video with your friend that wants to export related products. Give it a thumbs up if you like what we're sharing. Drop your comment and question in the comment section. See you in the next video. Remember to join our community. In the next video, we'll be talking about export of glass bottles. People produce glass bottles in Nigeria and you can buy and export. And by the way, t shirt also, you don't need to be the manufacturer, you can buy and export. My name is Dela Yimbo and I'm your export doctor and I'm signing out.